Hey, this is Robert with a automotive quick tip. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to help you decide whether or not you should fix your car or not. I get this question over and over again. I don't know why. Uh, people just do. They ask me this question. You know, to me, that's a question you got to answer yourself. You know, I don't know the history of your vehicle. I don't know how many things are deteriorated or busted on it. I don't know your financial situation. I don't know what kind of care and upkeep you're giving to the car. So there's no way I could know whether or not you should fix it or cut bait. I do know this. My car has 468,000 miles and counting on it. Will I replace an engine in it? Absolutely. Because I know the rest of the car has been serviced and maintained where I don't think I have to dump another two or three thousand in it in the next month or two. You know, so I could find the engine in the salvage yard or buy one from somebody that has one. I could put it in myself or pay somebody eight, nine hundred dollars to install it. And then the rest of the car is in good enough shape that I'm confident that as long as that engine I just put in there is good, I should be good for two or three years. You know, so my goal is for my car to be in good enough shape to last another two or three years. I'm not in a financial position to go buy a new car, start paying car payments, and then hire insurance on top of the fact that there's no guarantee that a new car is going to run any better than the one I have. That's why they have lemon laws. People buy new or newer cars all the time and they have problems with them. I see newer cars on tow trucks all the time. So, will you be better off finding a car three, four years newer? Probably not. Because if somebody is selling that car, it's normally hit the straw that's breaking the camel's back so you're going to find a car that somebody is unloading for some reason are they unloading it just because they're tired of the car that they've had for six eight twelve years probably not that car has reached some kind of maintenance or repair need that they're saying hey it ain't worth fixing i can afford a newer car i'm cutting bait now you're going to go out and buy that car Fix that one main problem that they tell you about and have to deal with the other 9, 10, 20 problems that they're not telling you about. Can you catch those things as soon as you look at the car? Probably not. If you're looking at a used car, you probably should take that thing to a mechanic and have them do a bumper to bumper inspection on it. Cost anywhere from $50 to $120. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I want to know what's wrong with the car that I'm about to buy. My first yellow T5R that I purchased, I had it inspected by a car inspection company called Lemon Protectors. They found things wrong with that car that there's no way I would have known about just by communicating with the people on the phone. Flew 1,700 miles to pick the car up, drove it back to my home and then started soaking money into it. After three, four years of driving it, somebody decided they wanted to buy the car. Ah, maybe I only had it two years. Somebody decided they wanted to buy the car. They had the car for a year and a half, took it to a mechanic to get a voltage situation checked out. They were told the car needed four or $5,000 worth of work. Did it need that work to stay on the road? Probably not. However, these are things that you will probably run into if you jump ship and buy a car that you really don't know the history on. So, when you call and ask me, should you fix your car? My answer is I don't know. That's up to you. If you can afford a new car, go buy a new car with a warranty. If something breaks, try to get the warranty company to fix it. Other than that, I really don't know. Thanks for watching.
If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.